Well, hi there. Thanks for showing up for your learning. Uh, I've been noticing that uh, some of you want a little more work on your basic exponent laws. So when I say basic, I don't want you to think that that means easy, I should know that. No. Basic means it's foundational. It's a key skill. If you're missing that skill, all that means is you need the skill going forward. So you're going to get the skill now or you're going to email me your question and then we're going to work it out so that you get these basics. These are really important. So here we've been asked to express the following expressions with positive exponents only. So let's take a look at them one by one. Okay, so this first expression here, we want to express this as a single power of x. And if we have x squared, then that could be x multiplied by x, right? That's x squared. And then x to the 3, well, that's x times x times x. So this is all together x to the 5. But we don't want to have to write things out in expanded form every time. That would be very time consuming. So really what we can do is just do x to the 2 plus 3. x to the 2 plus 3. In these cases you add the exponents when multiplying powers of the same base. Okay, So our algebraic rule, and we'll just write down an algebraic rule for this, x to the a multiplied by x to the b that's a copies of x multiplying, b copies of x. So that's going to equal x to the a plus b. a plus b copies of x multiplying. That's our exponent. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. Now we've got x to the 7 over x to the 3, and that's x times x times x times, can I just write x to the 4 because I don't want to write out four more copies of x, divided by, well, x to the 3. So that's x times x times x. And I hope you see what I'm going for. I'm going for my special cancellation pen, and I'm going to cancel that x divided by that x because x divided by x is 1, x divided by x is 1, and x divided by x is 1. And I'm left with x to the 4. Okay, so the answer is x to the 4. And I want a rule for this. I see however number of copies of x I have downstairs will cancel that many copies of x upstairs. So my rule here, this if I wrote this out, this is the same thing as saying x to the 7 minus 3. And my algebraic rule that I'm going to write in purple over there, because purple is awesome, is x to the a divided by x to the b is equal to x to the a minus b. So this is called the quotient of powers law, where when you're dividing powers of the same base, you subtract the exponents. Very cool. Keep going to another question. x to the six, x to the two times x to the six. Well, that's highly repetitive. That's the same thing as that. So this time I'm going to skip over it and say this is x to the two plus six. And you all know what that is, is x to the eight. Now, we've been asked to write these things with positive exponents. So x to the negative three. What the heck? A negative exponent. My goodness. Well, if I compare that to something like x to the three, that's saying, please multiply by three copies of x. That's what that set of instructions means. This is not the same thing as x to the negative 3, which is what we have in this problem here. What this is equal to is it's saying, please divide by three copies of x. What am I dividing? 1. Here I'm also multiplying by 1. There's a hidden 1 hidden in all these things. 1 is the multiplicative identity, and it's hidden everywhere. Okay, 1 divided by 3 copies of x. So if I have to do that, well, x times x times x, we know that's x to the 3. So this is equal to 1 over x to the 3. And that's what I want you to do. Okay, Now let's make a rule, and this rule is going to be super useful to you. You're going to like this one. If I have x to the negative a, that's the same thing as 1 over x to the a. The negative exponent 
what it does is it says if you're living upstairs, meaning you're on top of the fraction, that's divided by one, right? Two is equal to two over one. Everything is over one. So if you're living upstairs, but you get a negative exponent, well, go live downstairs, please. Just change the floor you're living on if you have a negative exponent. And if you live downstairs, go live upstairs. And here, I'll make it even better. Watch this. If I have um, x over y to the negative a, that's equal to y over x to the a. Okay, the negative exponent actually takes downstairs living numbers and throws them upstairs, takes upstairs living numbers and throws them downstairs. Basically, anytime you see a negative exponent, just flip the base. All right, now let's keep going. Learn some more basics, everyone. Okay, so over here, we've got x squared multiplied by y cubed, all raised to the power four. Hmm. Well, uh, this is just the edge of my patience to write that out. x squared times y cubed. This cannot be simplified because the bases are different. So we have to leave that alone. But we can do the raised to the power 4. That's saying do four copies of that bracket multiplying. Get the idea? This is x squared y cubed multiplied by x squared y cubed. Okay? All right. So now we go ahead and we count up all our powers of x's. So this is x squared plus 2, so x to the 4, x to the 6, x to the 8. So that's going to be x to the 8. How did you get there, Mr. Jennings? I applied this rule here. Okay, I added the exponents. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 8. Okay. And I'll do the same thing for the y's. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 12. So this is x to the 8, y to the 12. But actually, we can get there a lot easier because this just multiplies that exponent, multiplies that exponent. This is not the distributive property. Don't confuse this for the distributive property. It's different. Okay. This is, here's your rule. I'll give you your rule now. If you have x to the a raised to the power b, then you multiply the exponents in these cases. So this is x to the ab. All right, almost finished. Let's take a look at some more basics. Just got two questions where we have to apply these basics to a few different problems at the same time. So let's go. All right, so this one here, I can do this one a number of ways. I've got a negative exponent there, so I could just flip the inside of my fraction. No problem, I could do that. Or I can just use the multiply the exponents rule. When you're raising a power to a power, multiply the exponents. So I'm actually going to do it that way. So this will be x to the minus 6 divided by y to the minus 1 times minus 2. So that's y to the 2. Okay? But I was asked to do this with only negative exponents, only positive exponents. So then this negative exponent tells that whole thing to go live downstairs. What's left on top? 1. 1 is left on top. There's an invisible one hiding there. So then this is final answer, x to the 6, y squared. Okay? That's how you would apply these laws in that case. Now let's do this one. But this time, hey, let's do this a different way. Let's do my flip the whole base trick. So I'm going to first do that negative exponent. Uh, there's other ways to do this, but I'll just, I'll do that for sure. Okay, so that says flip the whole thing. So I'm going to have x to the 4 to the minus 2, now living upstairs, over x to the 3, y to the 2, all in brackets, raised to the positive 3. All we've done is this negative exponent so far. Now, Let's simplify inside the brackets because we can certainly apply our power of the power law there. So that's going to be x to the negative 8 because I just multiply the exponents, 
4 times negative 2. Multiply the exponents in that case. Here's my rule. So I just do that. And then that's all over x to the 3, y squared. Okay. Still raised to the power 3. That's still there. Okay. Now we've got an example of this law where we're dividing powers of the same base. So we're going to subtract the exponents. So in that I'm referring to the x to the 8 divided, x to the negative 8, sorry, divided by x to the 3. So that's going to be x to the negative 8 minus 3 over y squared, all to the power 3. Now I'm going to work vertically, go down here. x to the negative 8 minus 3, that's x to the negative 11, oh my goodness, over y squared, all raised to the power 3. Now we can uh, either first resolve that negative exponent inside the brackets there, or we can deal with this 3. Uh, let's deal with the 3. If you apply the rules in the correct way, you won't have any problems. Uh, it doesn't matter which order you do them in, as long as you don't break bedness. Okay, so let's multiply all of our powers. So we're going to have x to the negative 33, because this is a variation of this rule. Actually, it's not a variation. It's just a direct application of that rule, uh, divided by y to the 6. Again, multiply those exponents. And now we were asked for positive exponents only, please. We got an x to the negative 33. So we're going to kick that downstairs, leaving 1 on top, 1 over x to the 33, y to the 6. Then final answer. So those are um, absolutely foundational rules to your algebraic success going forward. They are the basic exponent laws. You you these want to be at the level of unconscious competence. You just know them, you apply them, you don't have to think about them too much. And if you do forget them, use this strategy of expand the expressions with multiplication to remind yourself so that you'll never forget. Okay, thanks for showing up for your learning, everyone. And uh, any questions, hit me up by email. Bye for now.